In this video, we provide the solution to question number five for practice exam number three for Math 1220, in which case we're asked to set up and simplify an integral that'll compute x bar for the following region. So we want to find the centroid. We don't need the y coordinate. We just need the x coordinate of the centroid there. And so let's consider our region that's given to us. We have the curve y equals x cubed x plus y equals 2, that's a line, and then the line y equals 0. I'm going to try to draw a sketch of this just to help me out here. Uh, so y equals 0, of course, is the x-axis, so I might begin by drawing just that. And for the sake of it, I'll label it. Um, this is the x-axis there, y equals 0. Um, the line x plus y equals 2, um, it'll be helpful to also introduce the y-axis into consideration here. So we'll draw that right there. And so the line y or x plus y equals 2, if you prefer, you could put it in the slope intercept form, y equals um, negative x plus 2. You have a y intercept of 2, a slope of negative 1. That actually also tells you you have an x intercept of 2. So I'm going to put those on my, I'm going to put those on the screen as well. So we have y equals 2 right here, x equals 2. And so then we're going to connect the dots like so. So that's our line, x plus y equals 2. And so then the last part is we have the curve y equals x cubed. I'll do that one in blue. Um, that curve looks something like the following, like so, y equals x cubed. Uh, notice that this will go through the point 1, 1, uh, which 1, 1 is on this line as well. That's actually the point of intersection right here. So that was actually kind of fortuitous that I thought of that. Um, so then looking at the region we're interested in, uh, like we said earlier, we want y equals 0. So we have this right here. So this right here is the region that we're interested in. Uh, so on the left side, we have x equals 0. On the right side, we have x equals 2. And then we come to this corner right here at 1, 1. So this actually suggests to me that we might need to break up our integral. So um, think of this, like let Take this curve right here on the top. I'm almost running out of colors here. Uh, so take this curve on the top. It does have that uh, non-differential cut at x equals 1. But we're going to call this function y equals f of x. Okay? And so we want to then find where is the centroid of this thing um, with regard to this function f of x. Now, since we're looking for x bar, we can apply the formula for x bar, which is you take 1 over the area. So we have to find the area of the region. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Uh, we have to find the area of the region. We're going to integrate from 0 to 2. Uh, then you end up with x, f of x, dx, like so. Okay. So what we can then do is we can break this thing up um, along at the point x equals 1. So you're going to get 1 over a times the integral from 0 to 1 of x times. Now in this situation, um, f of x is the function x cubed in that situation. And so then we have the other one, 1 over a times the integral from 1 to 2. And this time our function is going to be what we had before, uh, 2 minus x. That's the line in that situation. So that's then going to give us the bounds, or that's going to give us the integral. The only thing that's left here for us is to find the area of the region but by good fortune, the area is already given to us so that we don't have to compute it. Notice this is the area. We need one over the area. And as such, we're going to take the reciprocal of those things. And so putting it then together, in the end, we're going to get two integrals. Uh, and so we get a, we'll write it up here, four-thirds integral from zero to one um, of x to the fourth dx plus four-thirds the integral from one to two. Of, and that one, if you want to multiply out the x, you can. If you leave it factored, I'm okay with either. 2x minus x squared, I chose to multiply it out. And so the sum of those two integrals will give us the x bar, the x coordinate of the centroid of this region.